Hey everybody, welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday video for the Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software. My name is Mark Sylvester and today I'm going to show you how to create your own YouTube end screen. Now, end screens at the end of a YouTube video are really important. YouTube is all about interaction. The more thumbs up you get on a video, the more comments your watchers leave, and the more clicks you get inside your video, they all give YouTube signals that your video is being watched. And YouTube wants people to watch YouTube videos. So they're gonna reward you by boosting your video or showing it off onto the side of other YouTube videos. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create your own YouTube end screen, and I wanna show you how easy it is to create one using the graphics creator. So I'm gonna jump on my computer, and you're gonna watch me, and you're gonna see how easy it is. Okay, we're about to launch the Web Graphics Creator. It's our online um, graphics software that lets you create YouTube graphics, ebooks, or e covers, logos, all kinds of stuff. So, really quick, let me tell you what an end screen is. So, before we jump in, uh, we've all seen the end screens. Um, an end screen, also referred to as an end card or an end slate, is a YouTube feature that appears at the last 15 to 20 seconds of a video. YouTubers can use their end screen to promote videos, playlists, your merchandise if you have you know, links back to your site. Um, they all can go to external websites. Specifically, you can use your end screen to link to other videos on the playlist. So the more videos your users, <laughs> the more videos your watchers watch, the more your YouTube channel grows. Okay, once we're logged in, we're going to come over to our dashboard and then we're going to scroll down past some of the tutorial videos and it doesn't really matter what template set you begin with. And I'll show you why. You can make end screens with any of these. So for now, let's take The Greatest Show, for example. It'll load up the graphics and we can make an end screen, a YouTube end screen out of any of these templates. For example, I'll just use this heart. Okay, now uh, a thumbnail image for YouTube is 1280 by 720 pixels. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the Format Canvas button here. And I'm gonna set the canvas to 1280 and the height to 760. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this background all the way so it's full. I'm going to take the heart and shrink it. And I'm going to use this title here and I can say thanks for watching. Okay. And over here I'm going to format the text to center and I'm going to bring the line spacing up. And then let's get this out of the way for a second. I'm going to shrink the graphic, the text here to fit inside the heart. Or if I wanted to make the heart bigger, let's make that bigger here so we can read the text. Cool. And now here we're going to put our reminder, whoops, <laughs> reminder for your viewers to subscribe. And when we enter our YouTube editing suite, we're going to be able to put a, subs a live subscribe link inside the video so that when people click on it, they're gonna come and they're gonna to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Now with this, we can write something like, okay, so we can say, watch this next video. And then all we have to do is come up here and we can download it and choose download. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that graphic into whatever uh, editing uh, software that you use to create your videos. So this is what I use. I use something called ScreenFlow, and uh, there's a link in the um, description down there if you want to check it out. It's only for the Mac. Um, if you want to use something similar, um, I've used Camtasia for Windows. And again, I have both of these links in the, in the uh, description below. So we're just going to bring that graphic in that we just created, and it's in my Downloads folder. So I'm going to open up my Downloads folder and look at all my graphics I created. Okay, here it is. And in this particular software, I can drag it right from my desktop into ScreenFlow, and it pops up. And now YouTube gives you 20 seconds to have this end, end screen. Now in my movie, my pretend movie here that I've made, now I just wanna add my end screen to the end of my movie here in my editor. Okay, so I'm gonna put the end screen right about here. 
after the logo disappears. So I'm gonna delete this up here for real quick right now. Delete this part, and instead I'm gonna use my new end screen right here. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna save my, oh, actually, <laughs> I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna make sure this goes 9, 10, 20. I'm gonna drag this out to about maybe 10 seconds. I think 20 seconds is too long, but this is how long we're gonna have our other video. So real quick in my editing software, I'm just gonna hit um, export. And I'm gonna wait for this to um, export. Okay, the video has exported and it saved itself as an MP4. So then I uploaded it into my YouTube channel. So now I'm going to go find it and I'll show you how to use your new end screen. Okay, so here's the new video that I've uploaded. So I'm gonna click on it. And if you have your own YouTube account, you have the ability, let's see, this is a fake movie so I've created, it's, it's an unlisted video, you're not gonna see this. It's just for demo purposes. <laughs> Um, okay, so at the very end of this, you're gonna see how I did the video there. It says, subscribe, thanks for watching. It's just a stationary picture, okay? So now all I have to do now is go to edit the video. Okay, then it opens up the video and I can come over here to the editor. And now here you'll see a timeline of what YouTube has in the system, okay? And right here is my end screen, it's when it starts. So now I can come over here to this end screen um, icon and I can click the little plus element. And do I want a video or a subscribe link? I think I want a subscribe link first. Okay, here's a subscribe link. I can go right there or right in the middle of the heart if I want. Now what I didn't do, <laughs> the subscribe is way too high because I'm doing this too fast. But if it was lower, I could put the video on top or the subscribe button here. So this particular uh, end screen might not work, but you're gonna get the idea. And now I'm gonna come over here to element and I'm gonna add another element. Uh, how about a video? Okay, the video is gonna be here and it's going to show up right above watch this next video. Now you notice here's where the subscribe link starts, okay? And here's where the most recent video uh, icon starts. Okay, so real quick, let's just see how this original messed up video came out. So here is the video, it's playing, okay? And then the end screen comes on. There it is, thanks for watching. And then you'll see um, the subscribe link and the new video, awesome. And if somebody rolls their mouse over the subscribe button, they can subscribe. And if they click here, they'll go to the next video and it'll keep them on your YouTube channel, which is what YouTube wants. Now, I did this really fast, so it's a little messed up. But if we go back to the graphics creator, again, I can change all of this and resave it. Now, with the graphics creator, you can do a whole bunch. Let's go back to select a design. Let's not save this for now because it was kind of messed up. <laughs> okay, let's just close this tab and we'll pick another template set. Let's try the scenery creator, I like that one. Now, the scenery creator lets you create a whole bunch of scenes with different elements. For example, um, let's, I'll show you some of the templates really quick. And everything and all of the templates are, are modifiable. For example, this one, You'll see the tree is its own element and the leaves that come in front of the words are its own element and the background is its own element. So we can edit everything here like, okay? And we can bring the tree in front of the words. And bring this down and then here is our subscribe button if we wanted to, okay? Or another movie. So we can even du duplicate this text. And right here, this is where our, our movie's gonna be. Or we'll put it at the top, and this is what, whoops. We'll put it at the top, and this is where our video, our next video is gonna be. Graphics Creator is a great way to just modify your, your YouTube end screens and make your visitors want to click on the video. Okay, let's just do one more. And let's run down here to the characters tab and let's see what we can create. 
the characters template set has a whole bunch of characters in it. And these guys will make great YouTube end screens. So let's pick a good one. Like, how about, uh, how about this one for now? Okay, we're gonna set the canvas really quick to 1280 by 760. Okay, and we're gonna bring the background all the, whoops, all the way so that it fills up. We can bring her shadow, everything is movable and modified. We're gonna bring her a little bit bigger here. Now, this might be too much, I think, for, for our end screen. Now we could probably put the movie in here, but it might not look right. But you know what, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna bring this out here. Let's get this out of the way real quick. So the video will be here, and actually I can put, um, double click and I can say watch this next. Something like that, right? And we'll give the outline, we'll make it a white outline or a yellow outline, so. Looks like it's part of the marquee. There we go. Probably want to have her saying subscribe, so let's double click on this and we'll say subscribe. Okay, like that, there we go. And we'll make this smaller because our circle's gonna be right here and our video is probably gonna be in this area here. And because I like this font and I wanna keep things consistent really quick, I'm going to duplicate this Bring it down to the bottom and I'm gonna write something like and I will make the text color white to have it stand out there we go and then I'm gonna download this to my downloads folder and we'll call this and I'm gonna put this at the end of the very video that you're watching so we're gonna see how it comes out so there you go. I hope you learned how to create an end screen for your YouTube videos with the graphics creator and I hope it seemed easy enough. If it did, let me know and if it didn't and it was too confusing, let me know and I'll clarify this and I'll make another video because I love doing these videos. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the end screen because I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. All right, see you next time.